Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're a regular, you know that I have some do-it-yourself landscape lighting on the outside of my house. This is like, it's accent lighting, it's uh, LED strips that are connected to a Magic Home controller. The system's been working great. I've had it up in the Florida weather for at least a couple of years, but one of my outlets or one of my power supplies, I should say, broke. So I need to replace that. I'm gonna replace that today. I'm gonna show you some links. Uh, stick around to the end. I'll, I'll drop some links on how I built the original uh, landscape lighting piece, you know, the, the original LED lights. I'll put that at the end of this video. But right now, we're gonna replace everything. I gotta get it all working. It's not been working. So let's get to it. So here's what I got. I actually got a two pack. Um, it's just generic, generic boxing. So no reason to really look into it, but so I just got myself a normal power supply. This is a 12 volt, two amp. This is to replace the other one. So here's a, here's, here's a link to the, to the actual page that I bought on Amazon. Uh, just a two pack. So two of them. So I'm good to go for the next one but we need the controller. So I'm gonna replace the busted one with this one. This should work. Let's go do that. So we're up here. Let's just plug this in. Come through this opening, plug that in, tuck this up, plug this in here. That gives us power. Should turn these lights on. We're gonna stuff all of the wires back in. So much easier to do this when you're off the ladder, but so nothing falls down. We're fighting against gravity here. Okay, so now we're just gonna go to the Magic LED, the Magic Home app. So we don't see the new one. So let's go. So here's a little trick. So we're gonna scroll down, and what we'll do here is we'll connect to the AP. So it's this 6D. So we're gonna connect this. Now, this connects. And what I wanna show you is, if we go back to the app and we do refresh, what's happening is it's not gonna find it. And if you look in the top right corner, it still shows that we're on LTE. And this is the new iOS 13 issue which basically what it does is if, so you can see we're actually connected to it, but it's still not working because what iOS 13 is doing is it's looking to see if it has internet access. And if it doesn't have internet access, it's trying to be cute and it's using the cellular. So what you wanna do is you wanna turn off your cellular if you wanna to connect to an access point to configure IoT devices, which is what we wanna do now. So. Now, if we go back, we see that it's connected on the top. We're gonna to do a refresh and we see our device. So the way, this is gonna be a handy tip for anyone using iPhones, iOS 13. So once iOS 13 becomes official, I'm running the beta version. You'll, uh, this would be, this will be super useful. So this device has been off for so long that it doesn't, it doesn't remember what it was. I think it was called Garage Snip. So we'll have to, we're gonna go here, go here, go to General. We're gonna link it with the router. And we're gonna connect it to our EP. And now it's gonna restart. I do have one more, which we'll go over here to. So we'll switch over. And we'll connect to my large garage. This one, for whatever reason, it keeps forgetting what it should be on. 
I'm not sure why it keeps dropping, but if anyone knows, just drop a comment or hit me up on Twitter, drop a comment on this video, let me know why they think uh, this might be losing its connectivity. Now it joins back to AP. And now we have all three of them, which I think, I think I may have to rename this one. That looks like it should do it. So then what we wanna do is we wanna come back here, we wanna go back, enable our cellular. And then what I'll do is I'm gonna see, let's see if we can, uh, let's jump back, swing that around. Let's go photo, there we go. Let's see, so. It's super bright out here, but here's our mess. Here's our LED lights. We run them all along here. And then here's the garage one, which keeps looping out. And you can see basically, whoops, basically the same setup. So it's got that sort of project box, which is basically just an elbow for electrical and then the power. And then of course this is the camera setup with uh, with all of its weatherproofing inside that. I have another video I'll link here. I'll link it up on the top so you can see that. But that's about it.